Alrighty, so this is picturesque, a nice way to get some web 2.0 stylish effects on your Mac with minimum fuss. Like it says, drop images here. I'm sorry, I just have one of a watermelon dude, so I'll do the drag and drop thing and expect to see it just like this. All right, so here are our choices. Let me, we can just turn them all off and I'll show you one at a time. Now I've created several presets. This is a nice thing so you can recall settings later if you'd like. You can also change the background color to better visualize if you want to integrate this on a web page. First of all, perspective, you can rotate or elevate to tilt it like that. You may have seen this used to spice up a lot of screenshots. You can add a reflection. Let me turn this one off. This one is, whoop, come on. I'm trying, there we go. Just need to hide that little dude there. Reflection will give you this tail. You can go ahead and make it longer or shorter if you want. I actually reported a bug where the length, a, a lengthy reflection was being cut off. Now that's being fixed in this version. Yay, thank you. So shadow would add a drop shadow. It's kind of slight right now. We can make it more prominent there. You can see it go on and off. We have the curve right here. Oh, let me turn this off. So these are the curved, the beveled edges as they were, and or rounded edges. It's very nice for kind of postcard things. You can selectively choose which corner you want. And then finally a stroke, which allows you to apply a solid matte color. And I know you can do a number of these in Photoshop. Some aren't so easy, like reflection requires multiple steps. This is a nice, fast way to spice it up. And if any time you think you want to better focus your image, you can just crop it like that. And then you can go ahead and apply a preset. So I have a number of one, a uh, number five about five here, and they are a lot of fun. The cliche. <laughs> it's really a discovery in overuse if you play with some of these. Use them stylishly and good health, and when you're done, you can save as and export them just as a standard picture or whatever, and put them on a web page, blog, amuse your friends, make yourself laugh. It's just really nice and elegant to use. It's picturesque.